Hi everyone, so we're on lesson two now and we're looking at the median in the interquartile range. So, oops, so in lesson one, we looked at the mean and standard deviation as a way of checking the average and the spread. And now we've got the median and the interquartile range, which is another way of checking the average and the spread. So hopefully from school, we know that the first quartile is Q1, and it represents the first 25% of the data. Then you've got Q2, which you've probably not seen that notation before, for the median, and it's the middle. So it takes you up to the middle of the data set. And then Q3 is your upper quartile, which is up to three quarters of the way of 75%. Now you might have seen your lower quartile as LQ and your upper quartile as UQ. It doesn't matter, whichever you're happy with, it doesn't really matter. Right, so to take into account, if I had like six numbers, um, if I kind of like just went six divided by two, it takes me to the third one, which is kind of like off, off center. So that I kind of do the plus one bit here to move it into the center. Now that you should have seen at school. This though, in order to do cumulative frequency, you switched instead of being from n plus one, just to n. So q1 is just n over four, q2 your median was n over two, and q3 your upper quartile was three n over four. Now that was kind of, you saw that on cumulative frequency, because the idea of cumulative frequency is it's large data sets where you've grouped your data because it's just ridiculous having each line of data there. Right, so let's have a look at this one then, this first example. So it says, um, so the time in seconds, oh yes, if you look, this is all in order as well. So it's in order. There. So I've got, what have we got here? So I've got 20 people. So N is 20. Uh, well, then I'm going to add some more people in. So I've got that. It says, I'll have 23 people solved. Well, three of them sit able to solve it within 60 seconds. Calculate the median in the interquartile range by all 23 people. Okay. So now I've got 23 for N. So Q1, my lower quartile, will be 23 plus 1 over 4, which is going to give me a sixth number. So remember, this is just its place. So Q1 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's going to be 31. Uh, so Q2 is two lots of over four, so just over two. So 23 plus one over two is going to be the 12 value. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's going to be 42. Q3 is three and plus one over four. So that'll be 23, 24, uh, the 18, so 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 55, there. So my median is, what's my median? So my median is 42, and my interquartile range, if you remember from school, it's Q3 minus Q1, it's the middle bit in the box plot. So that's going to be 55 minus 31, it's going to be 24. Right. Okay. So it says for the uh, so part B says, so I've got that there. I'm a bit, well, I don't like the idea that we've done all 23 people to be honest. Very much 20 there. So it says for the times taken by all 23 people, explain why. The mode is not an appropriate measure. So if you look along the numbers, no value appears more than once. 
so no value. And there's more than once. So essentially, I've got no mode. So why is the range not appropriate? Well, I don't know my biggest number, do I? I've only got up to 58. The others have recorded more than 60, and I've not put that down. So three people don't have the values for. But more importantly, those values at the top end, uh, which are over, which are greater than 60. So I haven't got the biggest number. So no, the max number. Uh, I'll leave for that one. Right, next page, keep going. Uh, so outliers. Oh, I might do outliers as a separate bit, actually. Yeah. 